What's going on, world? This is your girl, Marky Lemons Rowell. And today I am with one of my absolute favorite people. Now, I don't even know if she knows she's in my top five, right? Um, I had a problem. I had a problem with my branding and I knew that my branding was too strong and too powerful for my audience. Once I went back and really started digging deeper into the numbers and who my audience was. And so I did a little soul searching and a lot of investigating and I found Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth, how you doing today? Hey, Marky. I'm so excited to be here and excited to talk to your listeners and, uh, you know, talk today about branding and all the things. Well, you know what? So I do a lot of research and I always tell people I'm the person who needs my problems resolved quickly. And I want someone who's an expert. So I only hire people who are smarter than I am. I need you to educate me in the process. I don't have time to teach you how to do your job. So I actually heard about you um, through someone from Canva. Okay, it was a mention of you. I came over to Instagram. I started researching you. I went online. I filled out this profile. I looked at some of the work that you had done for other people because I did have a problem. My colors for my business are red, black, and white. A couple of reasons why. Red is my favorite color. The second reason is I'm a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, and our sorority colors are red and white. So red, white, and black have been prominent colors in my personal business for decades. And I'm like, I can't, I can't get rid of the color, right? Because I'm going back and undoing 20, 30 years of work. And so I was like, oh my God, how are we going to change this? Because I wanted my brand to be more feminine because if we look at the numbers of roughly 67%, of all realtors are female, but my audience is 70% female. My engagement is 80% female with that number one age uh, category being 45 to 54. So I reached out to you because I needed websites. I was scattered. I was on 20 different sites. I had a WordPress website, a this website, a that website. And I said, one, not only do I want you to make me look more feminine, right? I want you to bring everything to one location. And to my amazement, you did it. And you did it on the day that you said you was going to do it. Now, let me just applaud you. Because I've had my website held hostage in the past, right? Tell us, when you started your company, what was your intention behind your company? Well, well, thank you so much, Marky, for all of that. Uh, you know, the company started, our design company started almost a decade ago. My husband and I started our design company, and we also have an architecture side of it, um, as well as the branding and web design side of it. And the intention since the beginning was 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 really high quality service to the client you know since day 1 we did our absolute best to make the client make the client happy but to go way above and beyond to go way above and beyond expectations and above all when we say we're going to do something we follow through with it you know to the end and we really make sure we meet that standard that we've set and we absolutely follow through. And I've seen a lot of, a lot of people don't do that, you know, and it's, it's really a testament of just, uh, you know, we really care about the results, you know, it's so much deeper than just another client, just another project on your, on your plate. It's every single project. We care so deeply about the person we're working with and their results, their success and our experience working together. We want to make sure it goes you know, the whole, the holistic experience is, is, uh, you know, absolutely as extraordinary as possible, really. So I had, I thought was a unique problem and you solved that problem, but here's what's interesting. I hired you to do what are called VIP days. So we meet, we consult first, we go through every question humanly possible on what it is that 
I was trying to achieve. And at the end of that VIP day, you sent me a long video back and you outlined everything that you had done. And I could go to the internet and see it. Let me tell you something. It was one of the happiest days of my life, right? Because I went over there and I'm like, oh my God, this looks great. It's done with accuracy. And you were like, look, if there's something you don't like, we do not have a thin skin. Come back and let us know what it is. And we will make those modifications and changes for you. Sit with it 24 to 48 hours and come back. And every change that I came back with, you have modified it. It wasn't, and actually some of the changes were mistakes that I made in conveying information to you initially, not that you had made a mistake, right? <laughs> um, so when I'm looking at real estate professionals, a lot of us look alike. And my goal is to never look like anyone. I, I love to be unique and to stand out. But how does one stand out in a saturated market as an online business through their personal brand and design? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you, the number one thing is you have to be really clear about your goals. You have to know what are your goals because they're different from somebody else. They're different from another realtor or another, you know, from another human being. And you came to us, let's just, as an example, we'll use you. You came to us with a very exact list of goals and a long list of goals. And it gave me the comprehensive picture of what are you aiming for the next six months, 12 months and beyond. And really understanding those goals for yourself is number one to help you start to how then can you stand out in the market? So that that's what I would say is a huge first step. Um, after that is, you know, we really understand who is who, what, we, we try to understand your background, your, your personality, your, your, who makes you who you are, you know, and that there's nobody else like you. So if you really embrace who you are, uh, that, you know, that is another, like, that would be like, I would say the second starting point, you know, as let's say as a designer from the outside, I have to get to know you, your personality. So I do a little research too. You know, I look up all your profiles, your, your old websites, you know, I try to find every piece of you out there and, and it, I investigate. Um, from there, you want to understand the next step is who are you serving? Uh, so who are you serving in the market? And that's going to be totally different from somebody else um, who's who so serving even and even if you do have similar, let's say you're in the same area, you're in the same part of the city, even, um, you know, the same part of Chicago that you you might think it's very saturated. But no, you're still going to be serving a slightly different you know type of client out there. So it's layered, you know, as the, the designer, then I try to research who are your clients based on your goals, your personality, and then who are you serving? So that, that's the starting point. When you just said, um, even coming from the city of Chicago, so I'm on the south side of the city of Chicago. I live in a community called Bronzeville, but Bronzeville is adjacent to a community called High Park. High Park is distinctly different, right, than the Bronzeville community. One of the things is that in the High Park community, it is the only nondescript community on the south side of the city of Chicago, which means that Chicago is a segregated city racially and economically, but High Park is nondescript because of international students, because of the University of Chicago. It's pretty much a, a big old mixing pot. So who I would service there is totally different than who I would service in the Bronzeville area, even though they might have some similarities. What I'm clear about in my business, which I would love for realtors to just dig a little deeper, is that I service the 1.5 million and growing realtor members, right? We're the largest trade organization. We are licensed as real estate agents, real estate brokers, and we're all members of the National Association of Realtors, which means that we all have to adhere to the Realtors Code of Ethics. And inside of that organization, I'm digging even deeper. Most of my friends are volunteers. Most of my friends have a designation or certification, right? Because I want to hang around people who are smarter, more gregarious and outgoing than myself, but also people who earn a certain amount of money. And so you never want your brand to look like someone else's brand. What is going to be that unique selling proposition? And here's what I like. 
I know that you work with me and you also work with Kim Offord and we're both members of the same sorority. Actually, Kimberly Offord pledged me. And I love the fact that her brand looked totally different. Even though it's still a red color, it was more of a wine color with a gold and probably a little bit more rustic. And if you looked at her brand by side by side, my brand, they don't look anything alike, even though I know that we both have a lot of things in common. So what I appreciate is the difference of how you listen to what her audience was versus my audience. We're sorority sisters in the same market, but we're totally unique online. So why and how do branding um, and personal design allow you to secure more clients? So so I know a lot of people, you know, they, they brand look real raggedy online. Uh, so how and why would branding and personal design allow realtors to secure even more clients? Mm -hmm. I would distinguish it as intentional branding. So how do how does highly intentional branding uh, do that? So it number one, it makes you look professional. And, and, you know, you would be amazed the number of people who don't even think about it. You know, don't put that intention there. And you instantly I don't have a percentage like you do, but, you know, you would instantly probably be in the one percent already instantly, you know, maybe at least the 10 percent. So, you know, having uh, that alone is 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 a starting point you know how it, it makes you professional um then it it makes you look like an authority uh of your industry of that industry niche so you instantly appear as an authority and you know what does that do that gives uh, a certain element of trust people trust you um and it helps it helps people get to know you you know the no like trust factor it really builds on that um you know, having intentional branding. Part of that is having a consistent look, having consistent style and a consistent way that you show up to, you know, your business online, you know, and we're all online nowadays, so you can't avoid it. 97% um, of consumers, right, are going to use the internet in their real estate search. And the mass majority of them are going to do it from the palm of their hand. And what I do love is that everything that you've done for me is mobile responsive. So whether a person is sitting here looking at a, a laptop, a desktop, or they go over to their mobile device, when I'm scrolling through everything that you've done for me, I'm like, girl, look good in the palm of the hand, right? But you did me a big favor. Um, my son, Skyler, he's new to the real estate business and Skyler is a meticulous 25 year old. And he was like, mom, when people see my brand, I want them to think that I am seasoned and I am tenured. And mm -hmm. I told him, I said, well, let me say this because he is 25. I said, your communication skills to me exceed any 25 year old, even a lot of people in our industry. I said, now I tell your age all the time, but if you continue to show up in your branding and your marketing, they're not going to think you're that young. So you even distinctly came up with to make him look masculine, his own brand for his master class that he wanted to do, that he rolled out. And he's also operating on the Kajabi platform. Why do you like Kajabi? All right. Well, well, you know, Skylar was a good example of even if you're new in the industry and you get you invest in professional branding, you will stand out. And, you know, he's that I can't wait to see where his, you know, his career grows from here. But he's got a really great foundation with that branding and with that online platform, which, as you just said, we built it on Kajabi. So if you're not familiar with it, Kajabi is a online uh, business and marketing tool. It's a great system where you it's like an all-in-one system where a lot of different pieces that you would need to build a business uh, an online business is it, it you know it kajabi encompasses all those pieces so for example your website so you know for marky we have her website we have her landing pages uh her free opt-in pages pages for master classes coming up uh which is the, the canva master class uh currently <laughs> promotion. And uh, then also we have you know, her email marketing is through there. Uh, she has, she has her blog through there and, you know, she has her membership, you know, her um, six and six figures and 12 months membership right in there and all the things. And so it's a, Kajabi is a great on one platform. It's specifically though, I want to distinguish it. It's really great for 
you know, elevating your personal brand if you want to do that through knowledge based, um, a knowledge based way. So online digital products or digital courses or memberships is a really great thing. If you're trying to do physical products, is it's not the right solution for you. If you're trying to do if you're trying to do a lot of digital products, um, downloads, it may or may not be the right solution for you. So, you know, there's a certain element of research, whether it's right for you, but that's what Kajabi, that's a, the brief intro of Kajabi. So when I was researching you, I was looking for someone who specifically worked with Kajabi, but then it wasn't just Kajabi. I also wanted someone who worked inside a Canva. So let's, it's two different elements going on here. One, Um, I'm loving Canva for a thousand different reasons, which we'll talk about in a second. For the Kajabi, I was scattered. I was all over the place. And here's what I'm loving right now about Kajabi. I have not used Kajabi for a year yet, okay? At the one-year mark, Kajabi will have added an additional $200,000 to my bottom line, and I start using it as a free product, okay? Okay. What I knew was that I did not have the bandwidth in order to master WordPress, um, what was I using, MailChimp, and these Mm -hmm. five, six other different sites. It was just like, oh my God. I knew that I wanted to centralize everything in one location, spend more time in that one location so that I could become better and doing everything, right? So I don't have to remember all these usernames and logins and where is this in this system. I'm in one platform now. It is Kajabi. And I can tell you exactly how it's performing every single day, okay? Um, So you, not only were you a Kajabi expert, right? You understood the design element and I had already had a successful launch, right? But I knew. I didn't look as good as I should look, right? So I came to you and you redid everything. We, we probably got some before and after pictures, right? Of mm-hmm. how you took me knowing the absolute bare minimum and you just making it so much more richer, a better online uh, experience. So what makes, and I also know this, even though Kajabi is your go-to, you do know other platforms. Mm-hmm. What are some of those other backup mm-hmm. platforms that you've learned <laughs> over right. the process? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, I love learning online tools and the original, the original one was WordPress. And that was 15 years ago. I started to teach myself WordPress. Uh, now we, I mean, we do Kartra, which we did for Carrie. Carrie's platform, Carrie Joe Letters, Little's platform. Uh, we we do Kajabi. We do selectively. We will do Wix and Squarespace. But I, you know, I believe in niching down. And so while in the past we we've said, okay, we do these things, we are going into a, a new phase where I really am just focusing on Kajabi and going deeper on that with rare exceptions. Or you know, for example, we will still still support uh, past clients or. Uh, really possibly do Kartra as well, which is very similar to Kajabi. So I love the fact that you said niche because Mm -hmm. um, when you worked with Skylar, I told Skylar, I said, Elizabeth specializes in female businesses. Let's see if she would even be willing to work with you because I understood what your specialty was. Mm -hmm. And you have a gentleman on your team who worked with Skylar on the more masculine side of, um, of his business. And so even though you can, does not mean you should. And Mm -hmm. what I know is the deeper you go, we already have our next set of plans together. I sent you a text message. I'm laid up Mm -hmm. from surgery last week. It hit me. I said, look, I need me a January and a February date because Mm -hmm. these are the next set of goals. And you were like, oh, that sounds good. We'll get those dates uh, on the calendar because Mm -hmm. as Kajabi continues to roll out new products and services, you're learning those products and services, and I'm able to implement them, which makes it appear that I am consistently ahead of the pack because we're mastering every element of this one site. Mm-hmm. When you go back and you look at your the businesses you've uh, worked with, is there a certain percentage that comes to mind in the amount of productivity increase you're seeing? 
because they centralize everything to Kajabi? I so we have worked with a number of business and absolutely yes we see huge I mean we see huge results really when people make the decision to invest and put all their uh, th- th- you know previously they were scattered on different uh, online tools and we streamline them into just Kajabi you know we have people making you know specific numbers I can give is like multiple five fi- five figure months monthly recurring revenue from for example, launching membership. Uh, we have people achieve five-figure, six-figure launches, uh, you know, or their biggest launch ever of a new pro- program or a course or membership because they've streamlined into Kajabi and because they've also created a, a really nice elevated client experience in with, with Kajabi. You know what? Now, my speaking business is not on Kajabi yet. Mm-hmm. Um, that's probably what we're going to end up I'm still getting checks. There's really no reason for me to still get checks, right? Um, one organization I work for, they pay me through their uh, their payment system. Um, I still get some stuff through bills.com, but most associations are still mailing out checks where I should just mm-hmm. have it all on a page. They click, they book, they date, and we just gone about life, right? Um, that'll be something that we work on, but it is really that all-in-one business too. What should someone consider before they switch over to Kajabi? Again, what are your goals? That's one. Are you, you know, are you planning to launch a a course, a coaching program, a membership, uh, some kind of digital knowledge-based uh, you know, thing, basically? Um, and then are you tech savvy and does and are you design savvy? Because if you are tech savvy and you like figuring it out, then um, Kajabi, you know, Kajabi is still a great platform, but Kajabi is designed for those who are not tech savvy. So it does make it easy. However, there's still a learning curve, which I believe you, Marky, like, you know, experience that. But you you get over that and you you then it becomes easier. Um, the design side of Kajabi is, I would say, not if you're design savvy, you would probably be okay in Kajabi. If you're not design savvy, get help <laughs> when it comes to Kajabi. Here's what, and when you say get help, this is something that stands out. So I was uh, setting up all of my emails to go out and I actually went back to the design page to pull those pictures that you had created mm-hmm. back into the email. And I had created nine standalone emails and had a bunch of words and I'm like I don't really like that and I went back to the uh, landing page you created and I just downloaded the photos dropped them into the email and I'm like oh that looks really good right it made the email marketing look so much better that I took every last one of them nine emails and redid them and emailing is not my strongest skill set right because you had already created the design element that I could use from the website into the email marketing, also for my social media post. And a lot of times people aren't repurposing that. But if you have a designer who creates one element and it's, it's a JPEG or a PNG in as well, you want to share that. Because right now, when we're thinking about social media, the organic reach is 5.2%. That means that I want to get you from my website or I want to get you from Facebook to my website. You can use the same image because now that brand is consistently sticking in that person's mind, like a can of Coke, right? You see that same dang on can of Coke, right? The can of Coke looks the same way every place that you see it. Um, And so how does one connect with you, Elizabeth? What's your preferred place to hang out for someone to find you? Right. Well, Instagram is is one of the main places. We are uh, currently, even today as I speak, redoing our website and it will be, it's on Kajabi. You'll see it soon. Uh, as soon as in before the end of 2021, is the, it will be live. So I can't wait for that to showcase our work and you can discover more about our services there. But you know what you just said, I, I want to make a note. Was, it's so great that you, I, I love seeing what you do with, with what we create. And I can just say, like, you know, I've seen you repurpose it and, and you know, the graphics we create and you just think about the amount of time you're saving. You don't have to create that. You just can take and repurpose what we've done. And it's it's magnifying what we've done and what you've invested in. And here's what I love, too. Two things that you've done for me. One, the design elements, you did put them in a folder. I have that over in Dropbox. Mm-hmm. 
But then some of it you also took over into Canva. And the reason that I love Canva is that you can create an element for me that let's say I decide to change the date and we do this next year. Mm -hmm. Next year, we just change the dates on it. But the, all the design feature is still there and it's very easy to edit. And I've been telling people, the only people who I work with now in my business, first of all, no one is in this country. That would be first. That is the first funny thing about this. We all work, we're using Kajabi, we're using Canva, right? And that is allowing me to step outside of the country to work with other people, to have that uniqueness, to pull in a global flair to my business. And Canva is a global platform and you work so well in that. And my design is my design. It, it works PNG, PDF, JPEG. Look, now it's a website. Um, and I just did that the other day. One of the designs you created was actually Instagram stories. And mm -hmm. now inside of Canva is also a standalone web page because that's one of their new features or I can turn it into a video. So we want to repurpose those design elements into everything humanly possible and share them in as many places as possible. Elizabeth, I want to uh, thank you for one, changing my business, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but two, for coming over here and just sharing uh, what it is that you do and how you can help real estate professionals stand out in a crowded market. I want you to reach out to Elizabeth. If you are looking to update your website, your business, streamline your processes, she is your go-to person. She will not hold your website hostage. Everything that she's done for me, she has completed it when she said that she was going to complete it. So it's not a 30 days and then she's following up with you. Oh, I'm going to get to it. No, she's uh, she communicates very effectively and timely. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Marky. It's an absolute joy talking to you today.